Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're learning tonight the name of the man arrested in Onion Lake First Nation Wednesday night after reports of multiple shots being fired around 11 o'clock. 44-year-old Todd William Rousseau of Delmas is facing multiple charges, including three counts of discharging a firearm with intent to endanger life, uttering threats and intoxication on a dry reserve. Rousseau is scheduled to appear in Lloydminster Provincial Court on Monday. According to police, there were no reported injuries to those in the community. Well, residents are on the greens today for this year's second annual Mulligan for Mutts Golf Tournament. The money raised will be going to help stray animals in need and that have the hope of one day finding a caring home. Chris Khan has a story. The weather couldn't have been nicer for a good round of golf. It's such a beautiful summer day today, so love to get out on the course and hit some balls and raise some money for some puppies. All the fun for a serious cause, one where a large amount of cats and dogs are in need of rescue and rehabilitation. It's been a life or death situation for the most part. We've had ones that are living as strays, and when we see them as strays, if we don't take them in the day that we see them a lot of the times, we find them and they're already gone or or they're injured the next time we go to get them. Meet Fern, a stray dog that was rescued last winter. When found, she was nearly dead, covered in snow, only weighing 33 pounds, and had a severely dislocated leg. She's got a long road ahead of her, and this golf tournament, the funds from here are definitely going to help her um, because we may have to do another surgery, we may have to do physiotherapy, we don't know what's going to happen with her. Fern is only one of many animals in desperate need of medical care and in need of a new home. Last year, nearly $5,000 was raised, and this year they hope to surpass that. With an overpopulation of animals in the area, it is very important that these stray cats and dogs find a loving home. This support will save their lives. Chris Chacon, New Cap News. And in case you missed the golf fundraiser today, donations are still being accepted. For more information, you can visit cocospromise.webs.com. Well, smoke and haze from forest fires south of the border are still affecting many communities in Alberta and recently in Saskatchewan as well. This is a look at some of the conditions that residents in Edmonton and Calgary have been seeing these past few days. As Environment Canada says, southern and central Alberta is dealing with poor air quality. Now, Lloydminster and the Battleford area are under a low to moderate risk at the moment, but local officials are still asking residents to be careful. People who do have respiratory issues or asthma, they, they may want to take the precaution of not doing any strenuous activity outdoors and just remain indoors when they, when they are feeling the effects of, of the smoke. Now, according to Environment Canada, even healthy individuals may experience temporary irritation to eyes, throat, and possibly shortness of breath.